Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for August 10th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. The reading special is going on for 24 hours only, Virgos. If you're interested, tarotbarbie.com for the reading special. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Queen of Wands energy. This person, Virgos, may have left you before in the past, and the relationship came to a complete ending between you and them. They ended up leaving. They didn't care. They were minding their own business. World Car, Six of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. However, though, Virgos, this person is going to be on their way back to you guys. This person has been thinking about you a lot with that Page of Swords energy. They've been curious. They've been maybe even snooping a little bit here, too. But they're missing you on a whole other level, Virgos. They're missing you. They're feeling nostalgic on you. They're missing all the memories that they had between you and them in the past. This person may also have uh photos of you too so they're looking back at the photos of the of you of course virgos the six of cups the seven of cups the nine of wands and this person is the only reason why this person left virgos is because this person is very much so afraid of commitment they're afraid of marriage maybe this is a very religious person with the hierophant but nonetheless virgos they are very much so guarded they're going to try and come back towards you with the nine of wands Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person misses you very, very much, Virgos. And they are remembering how beautiful and sexy and handsome and everything you are. You brought everything and more to the table. Uh, you guys can finally come out of your head with the Eight of Swords in reverse. You did not do nothing wrong, Virgos. If this person ended up leaving you in the past, it has nothing to do with you but to do with them healthy people don't treat people like that all right so if you are so beautiful and sexy and you got everything and more to bring to the table plus your smartness and your intellect and your heart and everything more and this person actually felt like it's okay to leave you like that you guys can stop feeling like insecure and and stop overthinking about what was wrong with you because clearly there's nothing wrong with you you're the nine of cups you're everything you're a whole vibe you mean so the, world, the wheel's going to turn, Virgo, the cycle's coming back in for you guys. The connection was stagnant, very much so, with the hangman. At the end of the day, you guys have to walk away. You had no choice, but regardless, though, they're coming back for you. Even though they hurt you and they betrayed you, they're still coming back for you. So after a very long period of time of not talking to each other, that communication the communication coming in very, very swiftly, Virgo, very, very fast, very fast, Virgos. All right? Uh, however, though, they are coming in, and they are going to reach out to you with a page of cups. They're going to be sweet about it, too. They're going to tell you, hey, here's a gift, here's some money, um, you want to go out, you want to do something, hermit, Virgo, it could be another Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person wants to give to you now, and they're realizing now that you are the one that they should have been giving to this whole entire time, Ace of Swords, and when they do this, they're going to feel a lot more better about themselves too. Divination is letting this person know they're getting the clarity that they need by reaching out to you, by coming back to you as well, especially after the fact that you guys have not been, you guys have been feeling really bad about it too, Virgos. Like, I think this is somebody that you guys really loved a lot and just shit just ended up going sideways. If you guys were struggling with your finances and money, I want you guys to know, Virgos, that don't be sad about your money, Virgos. Don't be thinking too much either because your money's coming in. Yay! Go, Virgos. Go, Virgos. Go. Go, Virgos. Go, Virgos. Go. You were very sad because maybe it's been very hard for you guys to take care of yourselves. But don't worry, Virgos. Money's coming in for you guys with the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You guys go from zero to 100 real quick. So congratulations for that. Also, Virgos, you guys feel very sad too with the Five of Pentacles. This person made you really feel like really unworthy. Like they really did, Virgos. It's really fucked up, especially because you guys would have been able to to be bring in the ten of pentacles there and a lot of you guys are still really sad and heartbroken emotionally and mentally for what the th what for what this person has done to you but you guys are going to be the bigger person with the two of wands and look at things at a different perspective um and then at the end of the day <clears throat> This person had to do a lot of healing on themselves with the four of swords to the strength card. They're not as strong as you, Virgos. They're not as strong and they're not as mentally strong as you. You are strong mentally, spiritually, and physically. This person is not where you're at at the end of the day. Four of swords, strength card. This person is going to be coming back anyway. They've been taking their time, but they're ready to take that leap of faith and trust the universe that it's fine for them to come back towards you. They're going to be making a proposal to you, maybe asking you to be there, there in, be in a relationship with them, maybe even engagement with them as well with the ace of pentacles knight of pentacles and the full card this person is going to be acting a fool for sure both of you guys are going to be acting a fool virgos with that full energy so cute and you guys are like i'm so happy you're here with me 
<laughs> Anyways, this person's coming back in. Uh, you guys are going to see each other. Our reunion is on the way. Virgos, four of wands, three of pentacles, two of pentacles, nine of pentacles, queen of swords. Because you've been such single for such a long time, it might be a little bit difficult for you to be able to take this person back. Like, this could have been even, it could have been any type of situation with between you and this person. And when they come back to want to collab with you, the three of pentacles, you're going to be like, mm, do I really, do I, do I want this, do I? And you're going to have to take your time with the star card. Because you've been, you felt so abandoned by the way that they treated you, you're going to feel like you need to speak up about it with the queen of swords, nine of pentacles. Yes, as beautiful and as sweet as you are with that nine of pentacles, you're also somebody who doesn't take no shit from nobody. You're not a doormat. You're going to speak and you're going to say what you want to say at the end of the day. Uh, star card, and you're going to let this person know what for pop Virgo's uh, star energy there. But you are still staying hopeful, and you know, you are a star at the end of the day. So, why can't you say what you want to say? Um, but you are speaking your truth and you're saying what you have to say. Maybe this person has a drinking problem, and you guys are going to get down to the bottom of it. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Page of Swords, Magician card, and the Tower card. Yeah, this is really affecting this person, Virgo's, on a whole other level. <clears throat> they're like trying to find other ways to like spy on you watch you too which is absolutely crazy and they're trying to like manifest you back in but it's like they're having a hard time it, it's turning into obsessiveness it's turning into them overthinking a whole lot like it's really affecting their mental health like they're thinking constantly over and over and over about you right but this person is doing the best they can to just manifest you back in Virgos. they're really obsessed over you and this person has been doing the best they can to free themselves from the low vibrational energies and they're calling them that judgment Virgos they know that it's that they know that they have love for you they have feelings for you excuse me and they want to they see what they want to simply be with you because they're getting so obsessed with you Virgos the love that they have for you is turning into an obsession <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> I don't know how cute that is <laughs> The love that they have for you is turning into obsession. Uh, Devil card, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. They wouldn't be in the Page of Swords if they wasn't obsessed and if they didn't have love for you. But the love that they have for you is overflowing with too much. And it's turning into obsession now. And this person's going to have to come back and fight for you. Yes, Virgos. Because they want to be with you. They want to be with you. They love you. It's really fucking them up with the Tower card. It's not like, oh, this person's doing well on, on their own. No, they're really messed up, Virgos. They're messed up. They're feeling it. They feel miserable. They feel sad without you. They want to be with you. They want to come back in and fight for the connection with you there. Right? <clears throat> And this person is trying to be patient about everything. Maybe this person's asking the angels, like, help me, help me, help me. And the king of wands and the queen of pentacles, right? So this person's very much so passionate. They're in their power. They're strong. They're kind of controlling, definitely domineering, but they have a big loving heart at the same time. This could be a prayer person here with the king of wands to the temperance card. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, queen of pentacles as well. You guys definitely hold a pentacle for this person, Virgo. So you guys obviously care about them. But this person continues to think and look back at the past for whatever reason i am more so with the fact that they actually ended up leaving you and you know you guys it definitely went your separate ways virgos you went left they went right it is what it is um but at the end of the day they're gonna come back towards you if you guys feel like you're gonna end up leaving them they're gonna come back towards you they're gonna make a quick u-turn and make their way back uh, for you as well somebody here you gotta be careful now, Virgo. Somebody here is gonna be linking up with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be anybody at this point, Virgos. Somebody here is going to say that they're coming to meet up with you and then they don't meet up with you at all. That's not nice. Someone's gonna end up feeling something and something's fucked up is gonna end up happening. I don't know what it is, Virgos. <laughs> you guys, this so this Knight of Wands, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is running back to the past. They're like they get, they get scared. Something happens. And you guys are like, whatever. But I think more so as well, Virgos, that you guys are both sitting in the... You guys have two men uh, or two females that are wanting to come back towards you. And you are also going to have to choose who do you want. One person is going to be very much so passionate and a player and, a, and, a, and someone who's always so sexually interested in you. While the other one is like in their feelings all the time and always expressing to you how much they love you and wanting to be with you, Knight of Cups. 
and you're going to have to make a decision on who it is that you want to choose. You're not going to know who it is that you're going to want, Virgos, with that two of sword energy. Who do you want? Because one of them is, one of them, you were for you was friends with them for a while before it turned into a connection, while the other one, it was just a situation shift, friends with benefits type of shit. But what you're looking for now, you're looking for a full-out relationship with the two of swords, high priestess, and the, and the lover's card. You're going to choose the one that could bring you that's going to bring the most attraction towards you. So whoever it is that you're most attracted to, which looks like it will be the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's the one you're going to choose, all right? But you're going to really have to use your intuition on this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy because when you guys get into union with both of these people at the exact same time, you're going to have to make a decision, but you really have to, gonna have to go within and figure out who do you want and who do you choose. Two of Swords, High Priestess, Lover's Card. At the end of the day, you're very much so beautiful. You're very attractive. And one of these people that you are going to be connecting with, 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 the, with these two men here or two females here, one of them is going to bring you the, uh, what is it? One of, only one of them, Virgos, you're going to be absolutely attracted to them. And I think it more so has to do with being emotionally connected to this person because if you're not emotionally connected to them, you're not connected to them at all, right? So that's where you're going to end up choosing your direction and you're going to choose the one that you're emotionally connected to on a physical uh, attraction mental and emotional and sexual too so if this person if this Aries Leo Sagittarius cannot bring you that type of connection to you you will choose the knight of cups all right and then you guys got a well doop, doop, doop. <laughs> you guys got the seven of wands nine of swords king of swords all right so you guys got a gemini libra aquarius who's going to be coming back virgos are going to fight for you somebody here has a very strong spirit virgos and they're very much so protected four of pentacles seven of pentacles and the chariot card they're going to come back towards you they're going to come in they want to balance the situation out between the two of you guys this person's been thinking quite a bit about you virgos but do expect a message coming in from this person uh, as well somebody here's going to end up getting served with papers to virgos for any type of lit litigation that's going to be going on especially Especially if it's family matter, family situation, family matter, if especially if it has anything to do with a child uh, too, uh, it looks like some shit's going to be going down and paper will be served on someone's family member here. Anyway, yeah, okay. Uh, also, Virgos, when this person comes back towards you guys, you guys are still uh, dwelling on things from the past. But nonetheless, you guys got one cup here that's filled, another cup, but one is empty. So the universe is going to bring you this one cup to let you know, like, hey, stop being so dissatisfied with everything that's going on. You already have two cups in front of you. Why are you not doing anything about it? Why are you not doing anything with it? And that's just because this person continues to think and look back at the past of the shit that had happened. So you're technically uh, stagnating yourself. So please know that you have much more happiness and emotional fulfillment coming towards you. We need you to be up in the Empress or Emperor energy. So that way when this King of Swords comes and talks to you or the Cancer comes, Libra talks to you, you can be in your power. You can be strong. You can be in like nurturing and loving. And you know you're confident. We don't want you to be in the Four of Cups and be like, I don't want to be. You hurt my feelings. Fuck it, Virgos. The fuck you mean. Just fuck it already. Just get out of your feelings because it's not going to get you guys anywhere. It's just stopping you from being able to progress to get to your Ten of Cups of the Empress energy. Do what you need to do. Somebody here also might be pregnant at the moment, Virgos. Ten of Wands, all right? You guys have been carrying a lot of burden from this situation as well. Because more so the fact that this person has been carrying all the burden and stress from the situation because they know that there's selfish ways and manipulative ways it has to come to a complete ending 10 5 5 that's a complete transformation this person has reached their level of of bullshit they cannot continue to be this way it's not happening virgos this person cannot be uh, a pos for the rest of their fucking life and they're realizing that now so they're gonna have to make the changes for themselves with the five of cups with the five of sword energy and they need a lot of healing that needs to be done, but they're going to be coming in very, very fast. Yeah, that Ten of Wands is serious, Virgos. They've been carrying a lot of bullshit, and the bullshit that they're carrying is their own bullshit. They need to they need to release and let go, and they need to forgive themselves, but nonetheless, that's a them problem, not a you problem. So they're going to be coming in very fast to heal the situation for reconciliation. They want to be happy. They want to be happy more so with you. This Whoever's going through sadness and depression, brighter days are ahead of you, so please lift your head up. You have more opportunities coming towards you that will be much more better for you, and Anybody who took advantage of you was selfish with you, Virgos, they're really feeling it now. They're really feeling it now. They're going to know that the UHD should never have been treated that way. And that's why this person is coming in very fast with the Knight of Swords and to show you how happy they can possibly make you guys. So do a special message coming in from this person. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles to the Moon card. Somebody here is going to be receiving money as well. If you guys are working, you guys are struggling with work, Virgos, looks like money's on the way for you guys during the full moon energy. So congratulations on this. 
It might be a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, it's money, so it could be able to help you guys out. You guys have been working really fucking hard, Virgos, really, really hard, and you guys haven't been focused on anything else but pretty much work, so everything else pretty much comes second while your work comes first. So during the Kazemi effect, the, the, oh, again, this is so cute. Okay, Virgos, let's get into it for a second. <laughs> all right, this is important, all right? They're, they're, okay, so something... Something about the fifth house, Virgos, I don't really know this type of stuff, okay? So maybe you guys can actually Google it and whatever. Something about the fifth house, all right? Something about the sun and the moon being in some sort of Kazemi effect. Also, Virgos, when when the lion's gate energy had also brought you guys a lot of sadness and depression. So if you guys were feeling a little bit off and everything, that's because of the Saturn. That's okay, then maybe Saturn, something to do with Saturn, Virgos. Uh, but nonetheless, that's it's because of the energy of the... <clears throat> the energy of the Lion's Gate was bringing up and bringing up a lot of sadness and emotions from the past and a lot of depression as well. So please understand that a lot of these things are happening all because of the fact of the planets and the and, and the way that it's aligned with each other. And then on top of that, a Mercury is in your fucking Virgo sign right now uh, as well. So it's affecting you on, on many levels. But something about the fifth house Virgo, it's time to change and transformation. A huge portal came in and there's going to be another one going to be coming in soon as well with the moon energy to the sun card. There's a see me effect that's coming in for the month of September is how I'm seeing this. At the end of the day, Virgos, this is powerful energy. If you guys can Google it, Google it. I don't know much about it. I can, I only read the energies and I only see what they're telling me to see, okay? I don't study astrology. I don't do any of that. I Believe me, I don't do any of that shit. I see it, I talk about it, and that's it. And if it happens, it fucking happens. And if it doesn't, oh well, I can care less. But this is coming in, all right? So, but if you guys been feeling very sad, it's because of the way that the portal's been coming in and the way that the CERN 2 has been fucking shit up, them working with the fucking quantums and shit like this. So please, too much energy is going on around us that it is affecting our emotions as well. All right, Virgo, so please just take that into consideration. Listen, I'll ever tell you that I, I know something if I don't fucking know it. I will talk about it, but if I don't fully 100% know about it, I'm going to tell you, Google that shit. Because I'm not, I'm humble enough to know that I don't fucking know everything. But I can clearly see the energy, so I'm going to talk about it. But I'm going to move on to the next thing. <laughs> At least you guys know that's that's one thing about me. I don't act like I fucking know everything just because I read tarot. Alright, so expect a message coming in from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is going, this person loves you, Virgos are passionate about you. They want to express to you. This person has this fiery energy within them, Virgos, that they need to express to you. They love you. They want to see you again. And they are going to see you maybe more so in the evening time with that two of cups energy, Virgos. This person is taking charge. They want to simply be with you, Virgos. But you guys got to be careful from an Aries, a Taurus, and also a Libra. I don't trust this person, Virgo. That shit just went sideways on a whole other level. Uh, this person is going to come back acting like they can fix their ways. But I think this energy here will be kind of short-lived as well with the Emperor death to the Seven of Swords. There has to be a death to a rebirth. This person has to put an end to their stupid shit with the seven of swords you have to stop being a player you have to stop being a trick you have to stop taking advantage and sleeping with people when a good person comes into your life you're not going to get a second a good person a second time around or a third time around when you get a good person treat them fucking properly because when you get when you really do get a good person in your life and they do good by you don't think you're going to find another one. It's not going to happen. There's only one, there's, there's, there's a great many people out here who are amazing, but believe me, when you got one good person who's down for you, who will be there for you, pick up every single phone call for you, uh, jump whatever for you, and go miles for you, and then you do them dirt like this, you're not going to find another one just like that. It's not going to happen. At the end of the day, there's somebody here, Virgos, who is... A business and business woman. This is a very strong person. Somebody who's always having control over everything around them. This person needs to stop acting like that and stop acting like they have everything under control. Even if they do, they need to be playful. They need to be living their best life. They need to do their thing. Death card to the seven of swords. They need to put an end to the stupid shit that they continuously do. It's not fucking cute energy. And if you're doing this to a Virgo and you're a cross watcher, believe me when I say your character is far from a turn on. It's 
such a turn off. You have a beautiful connection right here and this is the shit that you continuously to do because you're egotistical and you feel like you're prideful, like everybody owes you something at the end of the day. Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. So for you to come in and act like, oh, I'm down for you 100, I'm faithful and I'm loving, I'm cute and I can give you the two of cups and we have a great connection, then you want to fucking turn your back and do some stupid shit. Believe me when I say... You're gonna have you're gonna learn you're gonna learn the hard way with that death card to the seven of swords and you wanna and you wanna walk around like your chest is so out like that and your head is so held high for what? There's nothing acute about that energy at all. Learn to be a better person. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.